Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be checking out another one of uh, my custom solar system variants. So if you remember last episode we checked out the um, the very vibrant version which had all of the extreme colours, the very very amplified planets. But today we're going to be doing the realistic version. So um, yeah, this is one I've not really um, shown off before so if I just... Um show you here if we get off that for a start okay so if i go to my simulations we can see that i the enhanced version is what i normally use here so um if we go into it um this is the one that we normally see um in the videos with the um ultra extreme colors as we can see here the less um realistic of the two so um yeah with that out the way like we did um previous in the previous episode we're going to go to the um the realistic one now um, this error message is very annoying, but yeah, we're going to be going to the realistic one. I'm going to be going through the um, differences um, in this um, simulation um, for today's video. So um, without further ado, let's just get um, straight into this. So we're starting off with the sun. It's just a generic sun. There's no changes made to it whatsoever. It's still got all of the regular stuff there. Um, and then the same with the Mercury as well. Mercury appears exactly the same as it does in the other um, system. As um, There's not really anything need to be done to Mercury um for the change from the enhanced to the um, realistic because it's practically fine the way it is there so that's mercury and then it's the same story with venus as well it's still um exactly the same as before except the slit the trail color is slightly um changed but yeah we are going for realism on this one so the trails have been um, turned down a little bit now moving on to earth we can see it's going with a lot more of a darker sort of blue trail we can see the earth's completely glitched and broken as normal whenever you open it in a new simulation so it's all flooded up um so there's not really too much to see there other than that um, mess of earth there um so there we go so it's also got a more dark pale sort of blue um trail there a little um different to the normal trail as well a little, um different shade of the darker blue i believe um, if i remember right and then moving on to mars we've got um a very turned down sort of um red color so you yeah, have sort of a very very light um it's sort of to match designed to match the surface of mars so here, here's the um, interface color so it's like a very very light light pale orange um obviously not really too much there but i think it goes with um, the planet itself um quite well actually and um, with its cu custom atmosphere on it there so yeah there we go that is the um inner object stand now moving on to the asteroid belt all of these guys are just a very very gray color so they're quite similar to um the previous um, enhanced version um, now heading on to jupiter again and same with saturn they are exactly the same as before so if you go to jupiter and you know, i've opened it so it's going to show all of those bands but you're going to jupiter we can see that the interface is just um, a turned down version really of the um, other simulation is jupiter here it's i mean with all these bands you can see that um it's exactly the same as before other than the band or other than trail color being different so there it is there looking great as always so yeah there we go there and then obviously Saturn is, again, same texture as normal. Um, since Saturn's never really had a custom variant, it's fine the way it is to me. So, um, yeah, there we go with Saturn. It's slightly, um, it's slightly altered from the regular trail colours that they normally have. Saturn's still got more of a yellowish colour to it. Jupiter's more of a, like an orange. So there's a slight um, change there. Now, moving on to the um, these two little objects out here. Um, so we've got um, Kyra on here. And then this one, these two, are instead of being like a greenish colour, they're just completely greyed out um, this time around. Um, so yeah, there we go. And now moving on to Uranus and Neptune. So this is where it gets um, slightly different as um, Uranus and Neptune in the other simulation, especially they're the ones that are enhanced the most since they were the ones that always needed the change the most. Um, so yeah, moving on to Uranus first. Here it is here. So it's a very, very light blue trail. As we can see, it almost looks white. But if we go ahead and to the planet itself, we can see it is a very, very pale um, a very very pale blue indeed to match the um the real um the real version of uranus so we can see very very bland very very pale it's way less blue than normal i mean if i was to compare it to the um the um enhanced version the enhanced version would be more like probably more around this and oh, that's the trail color sorry if we go to this one i think the um the normal one is more around this sort of area but this one is very very pale hardly any blue in there whatsoever which gives us this very very almost all white looking object as there's obviously not much to see um in general with uranus anyway just due to how bland it is um but yeah like um like the real pictures show this is what it is based off so a very very pale light blue i mean even compared to the enhanced version which is a little more blue like this in in reality it is still a little more pale like this so it's almost white in color there hardly any detail whatsoever but that is the way um the realistic uranus um is supposed to be so that is how i've got it in this realistic version and it's obviously a little more boring to me that's why i don't usually use this simulation as much but i still had it saved um for quite a while and now moving on to neptune we have the um ultra banded version which is based and um, trying to go for a realistic um sort of look to it as well um so sort of like the jupiter we've got the um, neptune version of it um so here we go here 
So if we go ahead and zoom into it, we can see as well if it, if it loads. Very laggy for some reason there, but yeah, here it is. So very, very dark out here from the sun as well. But if we just go on um, studio mode, get a closer look at it. So it's quite similar to the regular Neptune, but there's a whole lot more bands added than normal. So yeah, quite hard to spot. But if we compare it to the regular Neptune, we can see the um, the um, complete differences. And I'll, I'll also um, compare it to the um, ultra enhanced Neptune as well. So if we go to, um, yeah, here it is here. So that's the enhanced Neptune. So as we can see here, way, way too blue in colour, this one, to be anything near realistic. Then we have the regular version, which um, is quite blue as well in some areas, but then we've got the one that's aimed for realism. And this one is way more pale in pretty much all of the areas. We can see that um, there's a lot more detail going on down here. Um, and then um, some bits up here as well. But yeah, some slight change over the regular one. It's still fairly similar with the colour scheme. But yeah, compared to the Ultra Neptune, it is completely um, different in general. And also it's trail colour. Going with like a palish sort of Neptune blue as well. Nothing like the extreme blue we have with the enhanced version as well. But yeah, overall for the planets, I think their trails look really, really good. Like with the Neptune. I mean, the Neptune maybe could have a slight change. I mean, if I was to um, take a quick guess at it now, if we actually can open the menu. Since there's just so many bands, it just takes so long to load all this, as we can see here. But I think if I was to um, change it a bit, maybe I'd make it a little more... Maybe a little more bluish blue. Maybe something around this area, maybe. I'm not too sure. Neptune is... Um, yeah, maybe around there, for example. I think um, something like that would be quite good for Neptune. So, yeah, we've got, like, the bluish Neptune. We've got the very, very pale greenish blue for Uranus right there. So, yeah, the very, very light blue. Barely... It almost looks white. Then Saturn and Jupiter, they're the same as the, enha same as the enhanced version. Since Saturn's had no changes, the only object not to have a modded variant... And then we have Jupiter with its ultimate amount of bands. They're the same as the other simulation, along with all of the rocky planets. It's mainly just the trail colours that have had the major change in this simulation. We can see the colours are a lot more turned down, they're a lot more bland, um, in theory, which um, is the way they're supposed to be. So I'll see the enhanced version. Like I said, I'm not aiming for realism with it before anyone um, tries saying that. This is the one that's trying to trying to go for realism. So I'm not going to say it's completely realistic. That's up to interpretation um, of what you think is realistic and stuff. But I think this is uh, this is my sort of take on um, the um, realism, I guess, um, or trying to aim it off the realistic planets. The, um, I think the Ice Giants, so Uranus and Neptune, I think they're the coolest two out of them since they've had the most um, drastic changes out of all the objects with the texture, the way it looks, the bands, and the trail colour. Like, I think those two are definitely the two standouts for this um, version of the system as well since they're two completely different objects to the... Um, normal ones I have in the enhanced version. And now moving out to the um, outer objects in the Kuiper Belt area, Pluto is actually rocking its normal trail colour. So if we go ahead and locate Pluto, so where are we here? So Pluto, there it is. This is um, using its regular old um, trail colour, as I think the regular trail for Pluto is very appropriate for it, with like the creamish white colour. I think that matches the um, appearance of Pluto very, very well there. So that's had um, no changes. And now moving on to the um, lot further of the stuff, I've, I've, I've changed the colour of a few of the notable ones. So we've got Iris rocking it's white um, like it does in the other simulation. I don't know why it's all water. That's very, very strange, but that can easily be fixed. Then we have a Make Make or Make Make, however you want to say it over here. This one with its slightly reddish tint. It's got a very pale red trail. And then um, speaking of red trails, we've also got Sedna with a more pale red trail than the normal one I have because usually... I have my Sedna like this, but yeah, with this slight enhanced version, or not enhanced version, but the more realistic version, we've gone to tone down that red trail a bit, and um, so make it look like that. Um, far out, it's pink is slightly lighter in this version as well. Not really noticeable, but it is um, it is there um, as a change. And then obviously all of the other Kuiper objects, like the asteroid belt, they're all just um, they're just grey, as um, they're the less notable ones. So I've got all the notable ones slightly more coloured. So yeah, there are all of those guys. And now moving on to the really outer stuff, we've got the Goblin over here with a lighter yellow than it normally has there. And then lastly, we have got Planet Nine here, which is just um, sitting like it normally would with its dark um, dark appearance with the bands here. No changes have ever been made to this ever since I spawned it in. And then the um, interface is just sitting at that dark blue there. Um, not really anything um, to report with Planet Nine either. I mean, it probably could, probably could make it a little more paler, so something like... Maybe something like that. Obviously, don't want to make it too dark, so it's a lot more paler there. But I think overall for this um, enhanced system, I think I've done quite a good job here. But that you guys will be the judges of that in the comments. So let me know what you think of the um, the more realistic version of my um, custom solar system variant. So see, yeah, we had the enhanced from the previous video I did on these, and then here is the realistic version. So if we go to radius, for some reason Neptune is bigger than Uranus. I think that needs a little um, a change in size there. Yeah, that when you ever when you ever open that Neptune, that Neptune is quite um, quite a strange one. So yeah, this Neptune needs to be made a little smaller. It's a little too large. But yeah, overall for all the planets, I think they look really good together. 
um, all um, lined up and all um, made to look realistic. I think that's um, that's way too small. But I think they look um, really good together. I have to say, with the, the Neptune, especially with the Uranus, I think the Ice Giants look they look so much better. Like um, obviously for realism, they look so much better than the enhanced ones for what they're going for. I mean, the Uranus ultra ultra pale there. We've got Neptune with slightly more pale, more bands. I think it looks great. Obviously with Planet Nine there as well. I think all the gas giants look so good together. Obviously Saturn here, the ultimate probably the best um, gas giant out of all of them in the original game since it's the only one that hasn't had any modifications whatsoever this is still the regular stock saturn in the game no changes whatsoever to it that's the normal saturn you get when you spawn in the only thing that's changed is the trail color but yeah saturn for me never needed a change i think it's fine the way it is because obviously saturn sort of like uranus it's quite bland there's not really too much going on it's mostly all the same sort of colors so not really too much going on but obviously comparing it to jupiter the regular jupiter in the game it's not a very good job compared to the modified version we have here so you can see there's some some slight changes and then obviously neptune as well slightly modified from the regular version as well um but yeah there we go and i think i think they look great um together and obviously moving to the rocky planets again we still have the broken earth yeah whenever you um save a simulation with earth and then reopen it the earth is completely broken and if you try and remove the water it just does this due to that surface data beam reset so earth is a very funny one um at the moment and obviously with the other rocky planets these guys remain the same as before as um the enhanced version has never really got enhanced for the rocky planets they've always um, remained relatively the same here we've got mercury with its um gray color in instead of being a little too brown um there and then obviously mars has just had an atmosphere change um slightly to the regular version as well same old texture and then venus has got its custom atmosphere making it highly reflective like it normally is so quite similar to the space engine version of venus there and that's quite a good um representation of the planet um if you ask me as well and then uh, moving on to dwarf objects we do have um iris there we go that's what it should look like Sedna as well here, that's probably um, in need of some modifications, I think it is slightly too um, dark, so if we um, just give it a quick modification, maybe something like that would be uh, more appropriate for Sedna, for example, but yeah, there we go, uh, that's just a rough um, representation of it there, and then there we go, all of the other dwarf planets, these guys haven't had much changes, all of the ones that are just greyed out, those are the same as they've always been, but then we obviously have a few of the notable ones like the Goblin, we've got Far out there, and then um, back up there we got, um, yeah, Sedna, Make Make, Make Make, um, and then um, Eris there, which is actually a, I believe this is a Pluto texture, um, which has been greyed out, which looks quite cool um, right there. So yeah, there we go. Looking good, I have to say there. And yeah, there we go. That does it for the realistic version of my custom solar system, guys. So like I said, um, any feedback for this is appreciated. Let me know what you thought of this. And obviously, I, any changes um, you suggest, I could probably um, get those um, added in, maybe for a future episode or something. Let me know your thoughts down below. But I think, I think this is quite good. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this. And, um, yeah, with that all out the way, guys, a massive thank you for watching today's video. Obviously, if you liked it, let's see if we can go for 30 likes. Keep hitting those 30 like goals. We're doing really well. That's a massive thank you to you all for that. And also, let's um, continue the journey to 12,000 subscribers as we are getting very close. I think we're within about 250 subscribers now. So, let's see if we can try and push for that for the end of January. That would be amazing. And, yeah, really, really appreciate it, guys. It's absolutely amazing. So, just a massive thank you um, to you all for coming back every video and um, leaving all the support that you you do with um but yeah with that all out the way guys make sure you all have a great day give me any feedback you have on this and yeah i will see you in the next video goodbye